Kia ora, welcome, my name is Claire Alley and this is my YouTube channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe. Every week I upload a new yoga flow you definitely do not want to miss out. If you are not already signed up to my newsletter, hit the link below. I love to send out tips and tricks, I have an awesome blog, playlist for you guys to flow to and some awesome guided meditations. In this week's sequence, we are looking at using twists to bring more energy into the body. Twists are really good at opening up a new space and when we have space in the physical body, we also have more space in the mind. As always, use some cushions for extra support. I recommend also having a couple of blocks handy and you will need a strap. So either use a uh, yoga strap if you have one or a bathrobe tie is really good or um, a long piece of material, a sarong also works well. Start lying down on your spine. Take the hands to the belly. And take a moment just to arrive in your body, arrive in the room. Slow down your breath and as you breathe, see if you can breathe right the way to the pit of the belly. Take the legs out in front of you, the arms above you. Just give yourself a stretch. Wriggle the fingers and the toes. And then take hold of the strap. Bring the strap around the ball of the right foot. Extend the foot up towards the ceiling. So this is quite fluid. You can take the leg from side to side or up and down. Just getting into the back of the leg. If you need to bend the knee. Check in with your breath, so if you have closed down your breath, just uh, invite some deep breathing back in. Taking hold of the right uh, hip with the right hand, lengthen through the left leg, cross your right leg over to the left side, just hover the foot. So you're getting a really nice IT band stretch here and find a twist from your lower belly. This arm can just uh, come down to the floor. It's okay if, if the shoulder peels off the mat though. So as you've probably heard many yoga teachers say, detox, twists are very detoxifying for you. You can liken them to basically like wringing out a towel. So you're uh, releasing all the toxins and uh, spreading new energy into the body. Extend left leg up towards the ceiling. Take the foot from side to side or back and front. Perhaps you bend into the knee. There's no right or wrong way to move here. Left hand comes to left hip, straighten through right leg. Extend the left leg over towards the opposite side. Let it hover just off the mat. This hand uh, can come out wide. Begin to deepen your breath. So as the sequence gets more twisty, you just want to uh, make sure, again, that the breath has not shut down. Bring it back to the center. Take the strap to one side. Bend into the knees. Take the knees over, press yourself up and find a seat. So as you can see, my cushion has magically appeared in the camera. If you have a cushion handy, pop it underneath your sit bones. And this will just give your pelvis and your little lower back a little bit more space. Take the strap, make a loop with your strap and place it around your knee. So you want the loop 
to be about this big. Take it over the knee, right arm extends up towards the ceiling. Wrap the right arm behind you, take hold of the inside of the strap. Note, we're not taking hold of the tail end of the strap, the inside of the strap. So loosen, uh, loosen it if necessary. Opposite hand comes to opposite knee. Twist your shoulder in towards the centre line. Lift up through the base of your spine. Take a few rounds of breath here. And release, come back to the centre, swap sides, strap around the opposite knee, loosen it if necessary, extend left arm up towards the ceiling, thread it back behind you, take hold of the inside of the strap and notice it might be a wee bit sticky or tight, tighter on one side than the other, hand comes to the knee, inhale to lift up through the chest, exhale spin your shoulder open. I know for me that this side is definitely much tighter. Release the strap, bring yourself back to the centre, just shimmy out your shoulders, twist your torso from side to side, take the arms out in front of you, dome through the spine. Take the strap to one side, and you can take the pillow over to one side. I'm going to ping mine over there. Take your hands onto your knees. I mean, hands onto your feet. Extend back, take downward dog. So walk the feet in about an inch. So you've got a shorter downward dog. Left arm comes up towards the ceiling. Thread it uh, underneath you and take it to the right shin. Twist your gaze underneath your shoulder. And release, take the opposite side. Right arm extends up towards the ceiling. Twist, take the hand to the left shin and turn your gaze underneath the armpit. Release. Take a full downward dog and swivel the feet from side to side. As the feet swivel, you can bend into the knees and crouch down towards your feet. I like to take one hand off the mat and then the other. Extend back, full downward dog. Come on to the balls of the feet, roll through the spine, take plank pose, lower your knees down, take your belly all the way down to the mat, shimmy out through the hips, take the arms out wide, lift the left foot off the mat, roll over onto the right side, the head can just go down onto uh, the floor and if you would like to, you can lightly just touch the toes with your fingertips. Come back to the centre, take the opposite side, lift up through uh, right leg, step it back behind you and perhaps the toes find the fingertips. Bring yourself back to the centre, palms underneath shoulders, inhale to lift up through the chest. Shimmy the shoulders from side to side, perhaps you roll into the head. And exhale, lower. Plant the palms, extend back, take downward dog. Pick up the right leg, kick the heel towards the sit bone, pause. Come high onto the ball of the left foot, right knee comes in towards the chest. Step it between the hands, lower your back knee down. Inhale, arms rise up. 
pause for a moment. Nice deep breaths. Fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. Left arm glides forward, right arm glides back. Lift the left arm up over the head. Nice wee side body stretch here. Bring yourself back to the center. Option one, hand comes to the outside of the knee. Opposite arm sweeps back behind you. Or hook the elbow over the knee, press the palms together. As you twist, lift your lower belly away from the front thigh. Take the back toes under, extend up through the back leg. Keep strong through the legs. Hands come into the sternum. And inhale, arms rise up, full lunge. Nice big stretch. Staying strong through the legs. Straight in through the legs. Hands come to the hips, step the back foot in. Ground down through the heel. Big inhale breath, rise up through the chest. Hinging from your hips, glide your weight forward. If it's available to you, you can take the hands down onto uh, the mat or come onto fingertips. This is a really good time to use your blocks. Right hand comes to the lower back. Left hand comes onto right shin. Big inhale, lift forward. As you exhale, spin your back shoulder in towards the center line, twist. So Paravita Trigonasana. And this one can quite easily send you off balance. So see if you can just keep your breath nice and even. If your block is there, taking the hand to the block can also help just give you a little bit more space. If you would like, extend the top arm up. Gently lower, bend into the front knee. Extend back, take a downward dog. Take three rounds of breath. See if you can plug back in to your breath. So you want to find a point of relaxed concentration throughout the practice. Left leg lifts, heel kicks towards sit bone. Knee comes in towards the chest, step it between the hands, lower the back knee down. Inhale, arms rise up. Reaching up through the fingertips. Right arm glides forward, left arm glides back, twist. Lift up through your lower belly. Left arm draws back behind you, right arm comes up over the head. Nice wee side body stretch. Keep the breath going to stay stable. Last big inhale. Propel yourself back up to the center. Hand comes onto the outside edge of the knee. Left arm extends back behind you. Either option one to stay here, option two, hands come to heart center, hook elbow over knee, press palms together. Twist from the lower belly. Lift up through the back leg. Notice if there's a wee wobble as you transition and plug back into your breath to maintain focus. Inhale, arms rise up. Find stability and strength from your feet all the way up to your fingertips. And then you can start to open the chest and just uh, open the arms from side to side if you like. Straighten through the uh, legs, step the back foot in, ground down through the heel. Inhale, chest rises, hinge from the hips, bring your weight forward. 
Option to bring fingertips down to the mat or take your blocks. Move with the pulse of your breath here. So as you inhale, you'll find a little lift. And as you exhale, there's always an opportunity to take your practice deeper. It might not be physically deeper, perhaps uh, it's just uh, becoming more present with each exhale breath. Left hand comes to the lower back. Right hand comes to the left shin. Inhale, lift forward. Exhale, twist your shoulder in towards the center line. So this one is quite gritty. I suggest using your breath, being kind and going at your own pace. If you have the block handy, now is a good time to use it. And if you would like to, extend your arm up towards the ceiling. And gently lower. Step back, take downward dog. Oh, just getting my hair out of the way. We're good. <laughs> Take a big inhale in, exhale to sigh out. Walk the feet up towards the hands. Bend into the knees, round through the spine. Plugging into the feet, slowly roll yourself up to stand. Inhale, breath, arms rise up. And exhale, take the hands beside you. Take three rounds of breath and press through your feet. As you press through your feet, bend into the knees, have an awareness of where your pelvis is in space. So uh, lightly just thrust the pelvis forward. And feel steady, stable and at ease. Gently open the eyes. Draw the right knee into the chest. Pause. Option one is to uh, come with me. Take the hand to the outside of the knee. Opposite arm extends back behind you. So I'll give you a wee side view. Option two, take hold of the outside of the foot. Extend the leg out long, extend, or keep the arm extended. So if you can find a lift up from the base of your spine and a twist through your abdomen, keep the chest open. And release. We take the opposite side. So knee comes in towards the chest. Option one, hand comes to outside of knee. Arm extends back behind you. Option two, take hold of the outside of the foot and extend the leg long. And if you are going for the full expression of the pose, see if you can really find an extension. So uh, lift through your spine and really extend through the top leg. And if you're like me, wobbling about, see if you can embrace the journey and the wobbles on the way. And slowly lower. Step forward to the front of the mat. Bend into the knees, circle the arms, find chair pose. Make this light so you don't actually need to go all the way down for this one. Just a soft bend into the knees so that you're uh, very nice and stable. Open the left arm out wide, twist. Come back to the center, clap your hands together, extend your spine back. Open the opposite arm out wide. Clap and again round through the spine, extend the spine back towards the back of the mat. 
bending into the knees, hands come through heart center, forward fold. Hands come to the shins, inhale to lift up through the spine. Plant the palms, extend back, take plank pose and just bring the shoulders forward of the wrists and take your weight from side to side. Extend back, extend back, take downward dog. Bend into the knees, hop yourself halfway up the mat, malasana squat. Spread the fingers wide, come onto the balls of the feet and uh, take the knees to the back of the arms. Bring your weight forward, crow pose. Perhaps uh, one leg lifts and then the other. And if you do have uh, both feet lifted, take the two toes to touch and look forward with your gaze. Gently lower, come down onto your knees. Hands come to the thighs, close down your eyes. It's a bit too much to be on your knees here. You can come into a child's pose. Let the breath settle. And open the eyes. So one last a uh, little twisty move before we bring the energy down and come to our final relaxation. So this is optional and perhaps you just go to the first uh, variation of this and then um, see the progression of what it would be like to get into the pose. So coming on to uh, the balls of your feet, come into a crouched position. Take left hand over to uh, right knee. Extend the opposite arm back behind you, twist. Option one, to stay here. You're working on the twist, lifting up through your uh, torso and of course your balance. Option two, take the hands down to the mat. Hook the elbow down. Uh, so you want to tuck the elbow past the knee. So the elbow hooks down and then up. And you'll really find quite a sharp twist running through your lower belly here. Plant the palms down. This elbow is going to uh, press into the fleshy part of my outer hip. You'll tip your weight forward. As you tip your weight forward, perhaps the feet start to lift. If the feet are lifting, perhaps extend one leg out long and the other leg back behind you. Lift your head up. And then when you're ready, pop yourself back out. So it might take a few times and it's quite likely that you will fall out of this, but being playful and experimenting is uh, definitely the way to progress. So we'll do the other side and do feel free to pause the video if you'd like a little bit more time. Option one, hand comes to the outside of the knee, left arm extends back behind you, twist. Option two, take your hands down towards the mat. You want to hook this elbow down so it comes onto the fleshy part of your uh, outer leg. And you want to really hook it down and then up, kind of as, as if you're elbowing something, someone. <laughs> then take your hands down, hook this elbow into the fleshy part of your outer hip. Tip your weight forward. As you tip your weight forward, perhaps your feet come off the mat. If you are successfully balancing, you may want to extend one leg out long and the other back behind you. Gently lower and come back into, we'll come onto the knees actually. Hands come onto the thighs. And let the breath settle. Bring your sit bones back down. 
the mat. And make your way onto your spine. Give yourself a wee hug, draw the knees into the chest. Place the soles of the feet down, press the palms into the mat, lift the hips up, interlace the palm, uh, interlace the hands, come further onto your shoulders, press through the feet, extend your energy out through the chest. As you exhale, gently release all the way down. Knock the knees together, shake the hips out. My cushion has magically appeared again. Place it underneath your pelvis and extend the legs up towards the ceiling. Let your lower back relax. You can take the arms out wide here. Release the cushion from out underneath your sit bones and come into Shavasana. Take any final last adjustments you feel your body needs. Let yourself fully relax. Wiggle the fingers and the toes. Take the arms up over the head. Nice big stretch. Shake the hips from side to side. And roll yourself over to one side. As you make a wee pillow with your forearm, just pause and notice any new space that may have opened up in the physical body and any new space that may have opened up uh, through the mind. Press yourself up, find a seat. Keeping the eyes closed, take three rounds of breath. I invite you to set an intention for your day, your evening, or your afternoon ahead. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti.